Right up. So, uh, welcome to the Utter Hell. It is the M25. Set off from Colchester somewhere around 10 past 10 this morning. Um, it's now coming up to 5 to midday. Both sides of the M25 are completely clogged up. The A12 was unbelievably bad. Uh, there must have been two or three incidents uh, along the way. On the way down, I think there was a lorry that had crashed into one of the side middle strips. Um, but yeah, so all I'm trying to do is get to Epping, which would have taken about an hour, five, six years ago, and it's now coming up to nearly two hours. Uh, who knows how much longer it's going to take? But as to be said to all the uh, other libtards out there, all the lefties. This is the end result of too many people being in a, in a small island with uh, using roads and sewage systems and water services and all the rest of it that wasn't designed to cope with that many people. You know, I mean, I mean, was it Paul Joseph Watson did a video recently about the actual population figures might even be bigger than what we already thought they were. So this is it, this is the end result, there's too many people, the roads are squashed. That's before you mentioned people trying to get their kids into school and it just leads to uh, friction amongst the population as well because you can't get on when you're living like this, can you? So, you know, continue with your ridiculous ideology of importing about a million plus people every single year. And uh, anyone who dares to say anything negative about this, just call them a racist pathetic but this is the end result of what's going to be, be like in the future so this is into uh, Epping in southwest Essex so from southeast Suffolk last night to southwest Essex now it's quite a busy turnaround really <clears throat> I like that way it uh, leads up like ascension I was reading the uh, Angel Fall trilogy this time five years ago, just before Cough Cough 19 kicked in, and uh, I'd highly recommend anyone to go and read it. But it talks about the angels coming back, basically, and uh, causing absolute chaos on the earth. They're not quite angelic and as good as people would think for uh, demonic, basically. And after what happened at the Olympics recently, <coughs> here's the uh, proper last sup. Sorry about the shake. Okay, so there you go. So the last supper there. This is the market. Wow. <laughs> a lot bigger than I thought it'd be. Ah. Already towards the end of the uh, town centre now. It's quite a short time really, but um, quite affluent sort of area. Not many shut down shops or anything. This is the uh, the welcome you get for Epping anyway. So you've got the Essex Free Swords, the Saxon Swords, uh, St George, and obviously to do with Epping Froth Forest, you've got the, the heart in the centre. I mean, that's the, um, the Forest District Council over that side. Just waiting for a, uh, for a bus to come past now, so hopefully quite been into scale along here. But um, it seems to be taking quite a while. I was just heading up to the top of the town now, you've got this uh, war memorial up here, as per usual. So that's British Legion Epping. Looks like the uh, school, school, all arm school corps ready that does, but I'm not sure. Photos come first, but that's one of them uh, Wind in the Willows cars. Uh, we managed to photograph it, was the main thing. Uh, Jill Barkland, creator of Brambley Bridge, lived there. Don't know who that is, but one for you. Just around the back of the War Memorial now. So, uh, G Sparks 2008 
So I'd obviously be around Herrick 7, Herrick 8, Herrick 9 sort of era, uh, Royal Marine. Don't know why there's a set of losses here, it's a bit random. Hopefully something to give uh, Epping his credit for. A lot of large green open spaces. Um, there's even a pond down here on the left and of course you've got a forest not far away. And as you'll find across um, most of London, they've done a great job in giving each uh, town like a lake for people to go and relax by. And this is called Faden Grove, Faden Grove Lake. So we've got some ducklings down there. Oh, I've got it. That's enough. It's unusual. It says uh, traditional English barbers, chaps. There's a Georgian dragon. It's quite a nice angle with the church just there as well. Just over there, there's something to do with Winston Churchill, so I'll have a look in a minute. Marcus since 1253. There you go, anyway. Winston Churchill, MP for Epping, 1924 to 1945. Just on the side of this MS. Just taking a little trip along. This is uh, North Wheel Bassett uh, Airfield Museum. I'm just on the outskirts. Um, yeah, I just lost my balance there. Yeah, I thought it was quite interesting. It says Norsk Flyer uh, Store Britannia. So Norse, you know, Norse is in Scandinavian sounding. Yeah, can't really find much else to, uh, to do the history on it, but yeah, a lot of oak trees around here as well, which is nice. It's a bit of a clue. It looks like a Norwegian Norwegian flag, even though it's not flying very well. So the Norsk, I'm presuming that's the uh, the link that's here. The museum's not open today, it's open on um, Saturdays and Sundays between 12 and 5, if anyone is interested. And I'm just watching some people going to Booker's then, and it really is like watching the Americanisation of Britain, all these supermarkets that have come in, and uh, a lot of seriously overweight looking people going in there as well. So uh, I'd always say go and fund local businesses myself, rather than funding that lot. So the photo, uh, you can see the museum's just here, which is obviously just here, and then um, that flagpole just there will be that one just there, and then obviously as the uh, as the place got shut down, it went on to become a Booker's in the future, and uh, one day, if things continue as they are, I personally think all this sort of stuff will get forgotten about. Quite sad, really, but that's what I think. There's uh, Epping Forest, anyway. Just uh, on the drive through now. It's on the B181. So, there you go. Obviously, what you can't see is uh, left and right of me. It's quite impressive looking at the forest. Uh, you know, there's a lot of depth to it. Side. Not quite as impressive as Thetford Forest driving through that because that's a lot darker and more overgrown. But there you go, there's the Epping sun coming up. It's wind with Eppingen in Germany. So, this is at the far end of the town now, uh, the other end to the council offices. And it's got a good ring to it, really. I mean, Epping, Essex, England. I mean, for me, that's a brilliant angle with the red post box just there. And then the uh, tower school there, which is something's going on, some sort of transformation. But uh, yeah, maybe old radio uh, mast tower on there and all. And uh, ju judging by that, Dr. Joseph Clegg from 1820 to 1901 uh, campaigned for a water tower. So this could be a water tower, I'm not too sure. Quite an impressive feature really, that water tower, if it is a water tower. 
clues up in for today, but well, I just thought I'd have a quick look at this uh, clock on the side of the church. <clears throat> Put there in 1908. It's been pretty hard putting out there. Yeah, that's about it really. It's all uh, died down for the day. Market's well over. So that's really it, I think. I suppose too soon. Um, well, what more can you say? A church here that's uh, been sold. Wonder what that's going to be converted to. Someone commented on my channel the other day saying um, probably a mosque. You know, on about the one in Downham Market. I don't think you're going to get out there, but uh, I think being on the edge of London, there's a chance for that, this one to become one. <sighs> Loads of them up and down here today. This is the uh, Duke of Wellington, just on the outskirts of the town, and uh, with a chippy there. This is 1966, with a St George flying by it. And this is uh, heading back through Epping Forest. Um, when I was in one of the pubs earlier, I was sat down and towards the end of my pint, it was coming to the end of my time, and uh, the people at the bar started talking about uh, Cough Cough 91 making a comeback. Um, apparently in Harford, it's, it, this C19 is everywhere um, and it's making a comeback. Now, I couldn't really be asked getting into an argument. I, it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't the time really I don't think to start talking, I don't know, maybe I should have said something but I didn't and it's done. Um, so that's the end of that really. But after thoughts, uh, I mean the thing is with a lot of these people, if you still believe in all that stuff and you haven't questioned what happened, you're too far gone. So does it really matter that much? I don't know. Maybe I should have said something but I didn't. Um, but coming up now, on the left hand side in about half a mile is the Bell Hotel which is where DJI Media, Media went and did an audit on and it's where Tyrone, Mohammed and Abdullah are living uh, at the expense of us, the tax paying mugs um, he, they're very aggressive to him uh, but they wouldn't let him leave because he went round the back into the car park to try and have a look round the back and uh, this big aggressive African was basically holding him hostage and he had to call the police to come and um, let him go basically because they're, they're, hold, they're holding, him to, hold, holding him hostage. Now uh, I should have brought this up but um, you know I mean as I've always said to me these people in this hotel uh, they are UN soldiers uh, brought in by the government for when the procedure from C19 starts to kick in and go wrong. Um, that is without a doubt what I believe. Now, that being said, a positive of where I've just come from, you know, Epping Forest, if that was to happen and these people, the government was to try and deploy these people on the streets and uh, lock everybody in, it wouldn't happen. Just look how much countryside is all around us. It wouldn't happen. So, this is a Bell Hotel now on the left. Um, it looks really quiet now, I can't quite tell if there's anyone in there, but uh, yeah, so, you know, a positive from, from that outcome if they, the government did try to do that, which I wouldn't put past them, um, it'd fail. You know, people could easily go out into the countryside, they don't have to stick on the roads, do they? And also, from that point on, it will be a, a, an open declara declaration of war, ready from the government. They've come out and tried to... Uh, impose a real tyranny on the on the public uh, which won't succeed so there's a positive from that anyway and that's it for this one Corporation of London ruled over by the old dragons uh, also on the left hand side you can't see it or can you? Well, it was a very busy road, obviously the one I was on before. But if you, if I had my drone, you know, if I had my drone up and you could see both sides, and that side and this side, once again, the planet is fine. Look at it. Clear blue skies. We're talking, don't know, 23 degrees, somewhere around the evening time now. 
trees are still there. Uh, the planet's fine, it's the people. People are fucked. You know, this, uh, well, you can see it for yourself. You just walk around the civilization right now. Really obese people walking around. I'm not talking about people who are a bit overweight. I mean, people who really let themselves go. Um, I can't remember his name. There's a black guy I've been watching a bit on YouTube. He's, I saw him at Wembley actually, but he goes around asking uh, members of the public really simple maths questions. I mean, I mean really simple, like 2 plus 2 or 8 plus 8, 8 times 6, whatever. And they can't answer him. So that's the dumbing down of the people as well. I ain't not. There's a lot of things I've had to look up again. That was some of the questions he asked, just to remind myself. Um, but the math stuff, you know, that's quite scary, I'd say. And it's the end product is, uh, you know, because of the way we're living now, I'd say. I don't really think relying on calculators and technology. Calculators for maths and cameras to remember things. And, uh, you know, everything's on your mobile phone to do what you're thinking for you. And I think it was George Orwell in 1984 said uh, those who cannot think well no sorry those who cannot write well cannot think well and those who cannot think well will have others do their thinking for them and if you think about the text speak that came in so for example instead of spe spelling you y-o-u people start spelling you with just the letter u so there's a dumbing down element but yeah this is a, a nice little footpath inside well, on the outskirts of Epping Forest. Um, I'm just hoping to break through onto the road in a minute. They're out nice and early. Late July now. That'll be rude not to, won't it? Nice as well. Swind with Epping Gen Germany. The irony of this is incredible. incredible. So on the bottom one, uh, just here, the Churchill Suite for the Bell Hotel. Obviously full of all these uh, undocumented foreign men from wherever. Hard to tell really, I don't really know whether it's still there. Uh, it looks really deserted now, so I'm not sure. No one's come out to me yet, so there's someone moving around in there. So the uh, yeah, the Churchill Suite, you know, that's the future they fought for. LN09 VFA. It's got a uh, planning notice here. Uh, full planning permission. Um, Proposal, temporary change of use until the 30th of June 2024, so it's already been and gone. Uh, council has received the above application would welcome comments before 2023. Nigel Rich Richardson from Epic Forest uh, District Council. There's a light on over there. That's the bell. Um, yeah, not really sure. Yep, yeah, so to finish on, that's the Bell Hotel. No one came out to me. Um, they obviously learned a lesson after DJI Media. Who knows, maybe I could pay them a visit again sometime. See what happens when you actually go in there. Uh, but perfect example there, if they were to be deployed on the streets, if they are soldiers, with loads of people still left, and you've literally got all this countryside straight away. So, it won't work. So there's a bit of positivity there. Get some more of these before I go. And this is just around the corner from that hotel. People just enjoying a pint in the sunshine. Perky blenders. <laughs> 